Hi guys, what's going on? I'm going to show you how to stay safe on the internet. You've got all these people, these bad evil people hiding in the shadows trying to get at your information and steal everything you have and load your computer with viruses and destroy it and make you pay ransom fees to get your data back. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm here to protect you from that. So what I'm going to do is walk you through two items that I love for 2016. Now the key here is for 2016. Check back next year for my 2017 update because as always, I'm looking for the best software out there. I test, I try them, I download their trials, I read the reviews, I do all the work for you so that you can come here, download the best software, and move on with your life because you don't want to have to keep worrying about this kind of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to talk about a little bit is a VPN service. Now you may have never used a VPN service before. Heck, you may not even know what a VPN service is. So I'm going to tell you. A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's just like it sounds. It creates a virtual private network for you to be able to do your web browsing on without the fear of being tracked and everybody knowing who you are and being able to uh, put all of those data algorithms together to figure out everything you love, everything you've searched, everything you've bought, every email you've written, all of that junk that uh, is being collected by the corporate Goliaths now, uh, a VPN can protect you from. And corporations use VPNs. That may be where you became familiar with one. If you work from home at all or you log into your uh, home, your work office from a laptop, then you've probably or should be using a VPN to connect in uh, to the corporate network and that keeps you their data encrypted and safe uh, from prying eyes and hackers and all of that stuff so that's why big businesses use them but the prices of virtual private networks have come down considerably and there's so many good companies out there that are using them so there are a lot of different benefits for it some people like to use it because they don't want the social uh, media sites like Facebook and stuff tracking all their information uh, even the sites that sell you stuff like Amazon it seems like you know you go to Amazon you look for something then you go to some other site not affiliated but they have ads and all of a sudden that same product you were looking at just happens to pop up in that ad um, they're tracking everything you're doing on the internet and secure security savvy individuals really uh, whether you're doing something um, that may be considered in the gray area of the internet, maybe you do torrents or something like that, may consider that uh, negative, but uh, either way, even if you're completely on the up and up, you still don't want all of your information being shared out there with everyone, do you? Um, and that's where a VPN can really help. So PIA VPN, PIA VPN is the one that I use, it's the one I've tested. I really like their service. It's simple. It works. There's not a lot of lag because remember you're connecting into a big group of computers. And what I have on my screen here is what is my IP address to show you it looks like I am in Dubai according to this site. They have no idea where I'm at and I can change that to anywhere that I want uh, with this service. So I can disconnect and connect to uh, a different place if I want to. Let's do... Uh, let's try the Midwest. The Midwest sounds nice. Let's go on a trip. And where am I at now? Let's see. Connecting. I just switched it up, so that's probably... There we go. Okay, now I'm in New Jersey. It's amazing how fast you can get from Dubai to New Jersey these days. So that just shows you a little bit of kind of how a VPN works. It gives you... Uh, for all these sites who are tracking stuff, yeah, they can pinpoint exactly where you're at, but not me. They have no idea uh, where I'm at. So private internet access, PIA VPN, uh, comes in somewhere around $40 a year. You can get it for less if you wait for some coupons or sales. Uh, there are other good ones out there, um, but PIA is the one that I use. So um, one Thing that may be on your mind besides a VPN is securing your software from viruses and having a good firewall and that's where Webroot comes in usually for the last previous three years really 
I have switched which antivirus I recommend to my friends. They come to me, their computers get infected, uh, or they want their computers to not get infected, and so they're coming to me for advice saying, hey, what can I buy, what do I get to keep my computer safe so that I can look at all of those adult websites, I mean, I mean sites, and not get uh, all of this adware, malware, viruses, all of this junk. And so right now my 2016 pick is Webroot. Um, Webroot just, in my opinion, has the least intrusive, highest amount of protection that you can get with a antivirus solution. It um, doesn't have all these ads popping up every five seconds telling you, oh my God, please download something new. Or, oh my God, look at what I did. I protected you. Um, it doesn't, it isn't a resource hog holding all your RAM ransom and keeping your computer sluggish. It's just, it's, it's there. I love it. It works. It's kept my computer safe. I've downloaded software trying to be open source thinking I was on the right link, ended up on some person who was trying to mask their site to look like the actual site. And when I hit the download, boom, Webroot comes up, kills it, kills the download, removes the threat, says stop going to this site and I can move on with my life. It's just a really cool tool. It also has, and I'll show you here, um, it has the ability to protect you on your web browser and tell you which sites are sites that are trustworthy and which sites may be malicious. So let me show you. I just typed in antivirus. You've got your basic AVGs, etc., Nortons, and Avast. Uh, you've probably heard of all these, but see these little check marks? They tell you if the sites are, ch are safe or trustworthy. If they're not, they'll come up with a big um, red mark circle with an exclamation mark in it or they'll show you that there's a moderate risk going to this site which means they've gotten information either from the user community or their algorithm has captured this and saying this site has the potential to give you some malicious software stay away from it um, again non-intrusive little check marks on the side um, but very very good software package it's my favorite it's what i recommend to everybody i get no money from Rebroot. i get no money from pia vpn uh i have no affiliation with them at all the this is truly the software that um, i use on my own machines my laptop my wife's laptop all my friends this is what i tell them but i will tell you this in 2017 there could be different recommendations because I, I do go through extensive testing with these and there have been many years where I've changed the antivirus uh, software that I recommend because as these companies become more and more popular, they seem to focus less on their product and more about advertising and filling your computer with junky ads and pop-ups and all kinds of stuff that I don't want an antivirus to do. Um, so hopefully Webroot uh, continues to stick to their roots. <laughs> See what I did there. And uh, still remains the top contender next year. But check in. I'll do another video for 2017. But for 2016, Webroot, Pia VPN, do it. You'll be safe on the Internet. Have some fun. Until next time, uh, go in there, try to break something, and we'll talk to you soon.